Believe it or not, people, I still have some old timers out there that are not down with the cord cutting movement that want to stick with a traditional cable provider. Someone asked me to compare the cable providers and tell them which one is the best. Of course, I try to give them the cord cut, but they're not going to do it. So we're going to discuss the three that I found that would be the best out of all of them in this video. Let's go. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sex is hell host. Bringing you life gains, money saving, financial, really the best cable provider. I would rather you cut the cord and find the service you want, but I do have a lot of old subscribers that just don't want to deal with all that. So we're going to discuss it in this video, but first, let me put on these plus seven glasses of the sex is hell, work on skilling up my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. No sponsors this week. I just want you guys to go in my video description, grab that link that says Life Gains email, subscribe to it. So when I do raffles, when I get discounts, if you want a private video done about anything, get on that email list and you can have those things done. And also subscribe to the Life Game Fitness channel that is in the video description link. I covered three providers. I did Xfinity, I did Cox, and I did Spectrum. Now, why do we hate cable providers in the first place? Billing issues and customer service and generally not giving the people what they want. Price, people will pay a healthy price if they feel like they're getting the value. But with cable, you deal with them stealing your money on billing sometimes. You deal with you can't get customer service to help you with your billing. Sometimes you can't even get customer service. Then when you do get them, they put you on hold all day and kick you to somebody else. Those are some of the biggest reasons why people hate cable in the first place. So in doing this comparison, I scoured the web, I scoured websites just to see what people have said are the best. None of them really say it's the best. It's really eliminating the worst. So first we'll go with Xfinity. The deal with them is they have a $40 basic plan and you can get it with no contract, but get this y'all, you gotta pay 90, I mean $10 to not have it without contract. And then they kill you with all these additional fees for sports, local broadcasts, and all this other stuff. And to make it worse, the customer service with them is horrible. I'm gonna say on this list, you're probably gonna to want to avoid them at all costs. The next one is Cox. Now Cox has got this all encumbersome service that they do, and you can add different add-ons, but their very basic plan starts at $90, and that's before all the other fees. Their customer service rating was a little better than Xfinity, but I'm just not happy with them either because by the time you add all those fees that they never tell you about, you're gonna be paying like 150, and I, it's just hard for me to do this video because I'm just so into cord cutting, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna say, my people that's old heads, you wanna avoid cops. Which brings me to the last one, which is Spectrum, which is basically Charter and Time Warner Cable merged. Here's what I like about them, if you can like anything. They offer no contracts, so that's already a plus. But the issue with them is you've got sneaky add-ons and additional fees, and the DVR that they give you guys, it only records, you know, maybe 45 hours of stuff. And if you know 45 hours is not a lot for some of you all, but for you that requested the video, that might work for you um, because you're probably not watching it for that anyway. 
And their basic fee, their basic plan, um, they want you to do a bundle with like their phone service, which who needs that nowadays? You can get theirs for $89.99, but here again, they're gonna add in all these other fees for the DVR, um, if you're gonna have internet with them, with the modem, uh, all these other fees, and by the time you're done with them, you're out the door with about $140. But if I had to pick one of the three, my old heads, take Spectrum for a drive because it's no contract, and if you wanna quit, you can X them. And what I read from the customer service with them, you get a faster response time, and they haven't done any sneaky stuff on your bill. So if you gotta pick one of the cable providers, probably go with Spectrum. But of course, I'm gonna say, cut the cord, get an Amazon Fire Stick, get the add-ons you like, get the streams you wanna pay for, and go that route. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Cut the cord, my old people. Get your granddaughter, your baby daddy, granddaughter, somebody come show you a quick walkthrough of how to use cord cutting technology. It'll take you a day and you'll master that and be a pro and you'll thank me later. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.